Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is The Junkie, and I'm back with another DVD Blu-ray haul. Pretty good stack. Um, I went uh, Friday, Saturday, and today. Unfortunately, today, they didn't even restock. It was, it was pathetic. The selection was picked over, and you, they, you could tell they didn't even restock it, so that sucks. Um... But I did find some good stuff over the past couple days. I got a couple bo three box sets, um, a good stack of Blu-rays, um, a really good stack of DVDs, and uh, something new I'm going to start collecting. I know I don't have a player for them. I don't really care. Um, I'm, it's something I'm going to start collecting for movies that I really, really like or horror movies. Um, so I'll show that here in a second. But let me, like I do every video, show you what I picked up for Jessica today. Um, I mean, not today, this weekend. I picked up Mom's Night Out. So I found this. Thought it might be something she might enjoy. Um, I picked up Father of the Bride. Steve Martin. Looks like something she might enjoy, so I picked that up for her. Um, my Best Friend's Girl. Eighteen, you know the DVDs at Goodwill are two dollars, and the Blu-rays are like three ninety-eight. And Katie Holmes and First Daughter. I thought this might be something she might enjoy, so I picked that up. That's that's it for Jessica. Uh, let me show you the DVDs that I picked up. I picked up this movie here, The Gift, and it's got a bunch of good people in it. It's got Katie Holmes, um, Keanu Reeves, Hilary Swank. Looked really interesting, so I picked that up. Um, picked this up, ha, huh, Desperado. Antonio Banderas in Selma Hayek. I remember seeing this a long time ago. Vaguely remember it, but for two bucks, yeah, add it to the collection. Um, found this one. Uh, nice little family flick, uh, Zeus and Roxanne. Actually, I might just add this to Jessica's pile. That's probably more her style than me. But I'll watch it with her. This I love these weird type uh, Christian movies that are like about the rapture and and uh, how God's going to come and take all the Christians and leave all the other people on earth and what happens when the people are kind of like left behind. And they have this movie here called Left Behind 2 Tribulation Force. I don't know. I like these weird type movies. I really wanted to watch this today. Or uh, this weekend, but it is part two. And what happened was, I actually thought this was part one. It, I, I got screwed. I didn't see the two here. And the sticker, the Walmart sticker, is covering up. I just thought it was left behind. Okay, so I thought this was the first one. Didn't see the two. Didn't think about it. Just saw it. Still sealed. Brand new. Picked that up. And then I picked this up thinking this was left behind too. So I thought, okay, okay I can watch a double header of, this, of these kind of movies. But it's actually the same movie, just different cover. And they're both brand new. So I did go on eBay, and I found one and three. I guess it's a trilogy. And I got them for super cheap, so they'll be coming in the mail next week. And I go on vacation here in about ten days. So I will look forward to watching those. Well, I found this, um, Kurt Russell and Miracle. About the U.S. Olympic hockey team that won the gold medal. Really excited to watch this. It's a Disney movie, so look forward to watching that. Um, found this. Beautiful Creatures. Don't know anything about it. It looks, it looks different. Like a fantasy-type movie, so I picked that up. Might be shit. Who knows? Uh, found this. Really excited about this. Captain Phillips. Never seen this movie, but I heard it was really good. About he's the captain of a ship, and it gets hijacked by some pirates, some modern-day pirates. Um, low-key collecting Jet Li's movie, so Jet Li's Fearless, with slipcover, so excited about that. Uh, of course, adding to my ever-growing James Bond movie collection, I found You Only Live Twice, and Octopussy. I don't like these cheesy, cheap-looking... But, hey, whatever. If I can find a better copy... I like these copies here, like this here. This this format. Uh, Goldeneye. It's still brand new. It's 
still sealed. And like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't even want them on Blu-ray. I just get them on DVD. Found this double header or triple header actually. Um, Breaker, Breaker, Hero and the Terror, and Lone Wolf McCade. I heard this was really good, so I'm looking forward to watching that. I haven't seen either. I haven't seen any of these movies actually. So to get a Chuck Norris triple triple feature, super excited about this. The RoboCop trilogy collection. And it's got RoboCop, RoboCop 2, and RoboCop 3. For two bucks. Found this. I love finding these blockbuster exclusive movies. Um, the Last Legion. Never seen it. I love these Roman epic type movies. So right up my alley. So I picked that up. Like I said, guys, I found some good movies. And like I said, I don't mind DVD, guys. I really don't. Found this, Kiss the Girls. I thought I had this in the collection, but I didn't. I may have it in like a triple pack or a double pack or something like that. But I don't have a single, you know, just, just a uh, set alone movie. So I picked that up, Kiss the Girls. And the, and the case is real clean. You can always tell when they come from a collector or somebody that took care of their movie because the cases are real clean. Found this triple feature, brand new, still sealed. The triple feature of Free Willy. Free, Free Willy 1, 2, and 3. Never seen these movies. My wife's seen the first one, so we're excited about that. Uh, found this movie here, The Recruit. Al Pacino, Colin Farrell. Looked interesting. Uh, didn't have this. I was trying to pick up more comedies. Um, Morbid. <laughs> didn't have this in the collection. Looks stupid. Of course, it's Eddie Murphy. Um, picked this up. Night at the Museum. Ben Stiller. Never seen it. Heard good things about it. Heard it was pretty good. So, picked that up on DVD. Found Turner and the Hooch. Or Turner and Hooch. Tom Hanks. Seen this a long time ago. It's been a long time since I've seen it again. Um, Mark Wahlberg, The Happening. I remember this being pretty decent, so glad to find this for two bucks. Uh, found this. My wife pointed out to me... Um, that they, they took away the main title. It's Zack and Mary Make a Porno. But they took away Make a Porno. And it's really weird they did that. And you can tell there's space on the side. For the title. But it's not. It's not. We watched this yesterday. It's alright. Um, Seth Rogen. I don't know. He's a hit or miss for me. I'm not a real big fan. But yeah. It was a decent movie. Okay. Now for my. Uh, security, home defense, uh, I don't even know what you want to call these, but this is home security and home defense, but I like these type of videos where they show, like, how to protect yourself from being kidnapped. I have a, one other one. I'm watching a few on eBay that I want to pick up, but these, like, home, homemade, um, like, how to protect yourself type DVDs. This one here was for $39.95. Look at that. Now, I don't know if this came in a set. It's still brand new and sealed, but I got it for two bucks. So, add to my weird collection. Okay, two movies to add to my low-key uh, Steven Seagal collection. Above the Law, still brand new, still sealed. In a snapper case. And Hard to Kill. A little damage here, but yeah, whatever. Okay, now for the... Woo! That's all the DVDs, guys, that I... Well, yeah, no, I got a few more DVDs, but they're box sets. Okay, now for the Blu-rays that I picked up. Found this, Postal. Never heard of it, but it comes with the bonus video game, Postal 2. Never heard of it. I don't know, but we'll find out. Um, to finish off, I bought the Trilogy the other day from Goodwill. I found Ocean's 8 on Blu-ray. The all-female cast. So now I have all four of them movies. I found this. Prisoners. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, found this with slipcover. Vacation. Brand new. Still sealed. I remember this being pretty funny. Uh, found her. I remember this being pretty good. Funny I found this. I don't know where this is from, but I found Journey to the Center. They're still sealed. 
Steelbook, and I found part two, um, but it wasn't sealed at Goodwill, I think, last week. So I got one and two, and they're both Steelbook. How awesome is that? So that's, that's the collection's done. And then I found this, Wild Hogs. I heard this was pretty funny. Still brand new, still sealed. So a lot of sealed Blu-rays that I found that I needed. Uh, now for the box sets. To add to my war collection, uh, Silver War, Commemorative. I can't talk today, guys, sorry. Uh, box set, it's got three discs. So, pick that up. Um, found this, the Dirty Harry series on DVD. Uh, Clint Eastwood, it's got Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and Deadpool. And Snapper Cases, there's the... Uh, but pretty cool that I found the whole box set. I've been getting pretty lucky finding these awesome little box sets. Now for the find of the day for me. I looked this up on eBay. This is going for $30, $40, and I got it for $5. It is the West Side Story box set. Super clean. It looks damn near brand new. And it comes with two books... It comes, oh, it comes with one book. I guess the telling of, then it comes with movie cards, you know, like the, the little cards. I don't want to open them up, but it comes with that. And then the, it's a Blu-ray set, and I got it for $5, guys. It's a Blu-ray DVD set. And I mean, it is clean. Never seen it. I heard good things about it, so I'm super excited to have picked this up. Found it for $5, and it, like I said, it goes for $40. i am not going to sell it. It's just staying in the collection. I thought it was pretty cool that I found this awesome little box set for five bucks at Goodwill. I'm telling you guys, go to Goodwill and you will find some decent movies. Okay, now for the movies I'm going to collect. Um, only like horror movies and my favorite movies on it. Um, I had to go through a little bit of a hassle with the people at Goodwill. The lady at the register, they had to get the manager over there. I wasn't being a dick, but... Um, I was trying to convince her that these are DVDs, not Blu-rays. Even though they're in Blu-ray size cases, she didn't want to listen to me. So the manager had to come over there, and I had to point out that this says on their HD DVD. But it is HD DVDs. I found a good stack of these. I left a few behind that I didn't really care about. Um, but I found the Frighteners. <coughs> but I, you could tell that, uh, it looks like a Blu-ray. It's the same size as a Blu-ray case. So they, she was having a hard time believing, but I said, listen, it says it right there, HD DVD. I said, these came out the same time Blu-rays did. It was like a little bit of a competition, and the Blu-ray run won out. So these got obsolete. But somebody had turned in a big stack. I left like three or four, maybe five behind, but I picked up the Frighteners. They, I'm, I'm not, I don't plan on playing these at all, but I'm just going to pick up like horror movies that I find and like my favorite my favorite just to have like a you know like a weird collection i found terminator 3 rise of the machines so i like to get all the terminator movies on hd dvd found this excited about this road warrior so i got these for two bucks this is basically my my the moral of the story so because they're dvds and i found king kong And the last one that I found was 300, still sealed. So like I said, guys, I'm going to collect um, movies that I, I really enjoy or horror movies. So pretty excited about that. That in the, the box, the West Side Story box set, I'm pretty excited about. So this is going to be like a new hobby of mine. I'm just going to collect these HD DVDs. Um, I saw that you can get a player cheap. I don't really need it. Um, I have all these movies on Blu-ray, so it's just something I'm going to collect on the side. Anyways, guys, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Junkie, and I'm out. Peace.